Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with actually a pretty epic bins haul. And I want to say I have 47 pieces here today, but this is going to be a fun one. So I had a little bit of a time crunch the day I shopped for this haul, which was a couple days ago. And as I'm on my way to the location, I went to my favorite bins location that's a dollar per item. I was trying to think to myself, like, how can I do this a little bit differently? How can I turn this into a game? How can I gamify this? And what I decided to do was to put a moratorium on comping while I was there. So, you know, of course, there's a ton of pieces in here that are bread and butter. They're great pieces. They're brands I know. But there's a lot of pieces that I picked up that I didn't know the brands. And my rule was like, as long as it's in good shape, you know, I've of course checked it over for holes and all that kind of stuff, but I was not allowed to pull out my phone to check salt comps. We're just picking everything up strictly on gut and letting the chips land where they may, right? We're gonna take the L's, we're gonna celebrate the wins, but more than anything, we're gonna, I'm gonna walk you through kind of my process as to like why I picked up this specific item. You know, my go one of my goals doing this is to kind of help everybody sharpen that kind of spidey sense for great quality and you know so you're never leaving behind something that's going to make you a ton of money just because you don't know the brand so i'm excited to go through this i have literally only been through this bag once to just check it into inventory and i did do some comping while i had them home so let's talk about what was good let's talk about what was bad and let's all learn something together but if you are new here first and foremost uh welcome i'm julia that's my name we talk all things thrifting and vintage and reselling on the internet if that sounds like something that you are into be sure to hit subscribe down below i would love to have you along on this journey but without further ado guys i have a lot to go through so go grab yourself a snack get a little sustenance grab yourself a drink you know i have my matcha latte sit back relax and let's get in to the goods so first up here out of the bag this is a great brand of course this is not one of our guesses but this is a cute little zara linen cropped tie front top i mean this is so horrifically wrinkled but this will wash and press up beautifully it's a size small it's this really pretty like shell pink and it does tie in the front and all the little buttons are mother of pearl. You know, I gotta say, like some of these pieces from Zara are really impressive with the details. Like they didn't have to do mother of pearl buttons. Like, you know, that's just such an extra. But I'll probably see probably 30 to 35 on something like this. Zara linen goes very quickly for me and sells for a pretty great price. So happy to find that. Always happy to find Zara linen, any linen really like we we know we know next up here now this was one I had no idea the brand the brand here is Paola's Pixels and the reason I picked this up is because number one it's a plus size number two it's kind of a retro style skirt number three it's got like a novelty print those are kind of check marks for me these are the kind of things that go very quickly i did a little bit of comping on this and it looks like sold comps like are around you know 25 to 30 dollars which i'm not mad about you know i'm, I'm paying a dollar for this so that's still great return and the name of this print is called owlbear and let me get you up close so you can understand why that is the name of this print that is literally an owlbear, and I'm pretty sure it's eating honey in some of those little poses. Anyway, like if you're out, if you're out shopping, this is a perfect example of something to like trust your gut on. It's, you know, a plus size, it's a novelty print, and it's a vintage inspired silhouette. Those kind of things, it kind of doesn't matter the brand. I mean, I have found things that are Amazon, you know, clearly Amazon brands, you know, just like literally a jumble of letters and they've sold for a good price. I mean, don't go paying $15 for them, but if you're out sourcing and you can get one for, you know, up to five, six bucks, do it. Cause they will move quickly. So this is kind of a great first gut pick to talk about. Cause this is one of my most trusted tips. Those kind of three things to look for. And that's gonna work for pretty much anybody, no matter what you sell. Now, next up, this is a piece from Anthropology from the brand Elevensies, which, do you guys know what 11 is from? 
let me know. Let me know if you know what that word is from uh, in the comments down below. And you know, that's, I'm, I'm finding my people is what I'm saying. Let me, let me know if you know what 11 C's is. But this is just a cute pair of like sheer pants. They're lined to about short length and they have this kind of flyaway front. Now it's not, sometimes you'll find these things that have like a full flyaway where it'll be like bare leg underneath. This just kind of wraps around and it ties in the front. It's just a super boho look. This feels very boho, very festival. I don't pick up all of the 11 C stuff that I see. Some of it doesn't move super quickly, but something like this, their pants in general sell better for me than their tops. Their dress is better than both, but their pants do really well for me. And this is a size zero, so this is pretty much something that I would only pick up right now because I know that this is like festival time. These are like beachy pants. This is something somebody will throw on over a swimsuit. Probably 20 to $30 on this. Next up, this was a gut pick number two. And I still was not able to find much, but I kind of picked this up for me more than anything. The brand here is Jenny. And I was not able to find anything on this brand, but the quality is really nice. It's a French Terry. It's this kind of like black, like oversized. You see how like wide this is? This is something that just drapes really like long on the sides. It's short sleeved. It's something I kind of picked up for me like as a little casual top, but I, you know, I still don't know. I still don't know about this brand. And I think I'm just gonna chalk this one up to an L. I couldn't find anything so being is that I couldn't find anything else for sale or sold comps on this. Uh, you know, I, I probably wouldn't be able to charge more than 10 or 15 bucks on it. So we'll call this one an L, but I do like it. And I think if you're shopping for you, keep your eyes out for it because the quality again is really nice, but everything else going for it is not great. It's also all black, so it will not photograph well. That is kind of a thing about black items that you're gonna buy for style and it's gonna be something that sells well or for a good price. Chances are it's gonna be brighter, it's gonna be patterned, that's what people are kind of looking for. I would refrain from buying on style in something that's black unless it's something like really special like black brocade or black chiffon, something that's really notable texture wise that you can list in the listings. Next up, now this is not something that's gonna sell until Halloween but I could not I could not leave this behind it's so precious and I mean like made with love look at this adorable little Halloween vest I've got a friend who's a teacher who I might you know give this to I might also sell it I mean the ghosts on the back and I will tell you that this is quilted like I don't know if you can see that but this is actually quilted all around the image and it comes complete with a brooch that's <laughs> still on there. But the thing that I really couldn't leave it behind for was this. I mean, it's like made with love. This is handmade. It's super cute. It's got little, oh my God, it's got little glue on stars. I didn't even see that. And the button is a star. Look at these buttons. I didn't even see this when I was going through it. I have no idea what I'll get for this if I do end up selling it. You know, this is 100% a Depop item. Like I can see a lot of younger girls wearing something like this, but it is just so adorable that I could not leave it behind. I don't even count this in the gut pile because I would have gotten this no matter what. This is handmade and made with love. So very cute, I, 25 or 30 bucks on that. It's a one of a kind for sure. Next up here, now this was another brand that I didn't know, so count this as gut pick number two. Uh, this was Lost and Wander, which turns out to be a Nordstrom brand. And I grabbed this because it was just a cute little like cottage style, prairie style dress. It's got little tie sleeves. It's got smocking all across the bodice. It's got like a little ruffle. It's midi length with a cute little ruffle at the bottom and a cute little like ladder stitch detail there. So this is definitely something that I probably would have picked up as long as the quality was great, kind of no matter what the brand was. And the, and the real, you know, kicker on here is quality because, you know, there's a lot of like really low end brands kind of kicking around. And you can usually tell, like if you are not sure and you're in the bins or you're thrifting, you can usually feel the difference of quality in the smocking. And typically like a better quality smocking will be a little bit denser. 
It's not gonna have really exposed elastic on the back. Like this uses elastic thread and that's how the smocking is done and that's why it's able to be a little bit more dense. You'll see cheaper ones that have just like bands, like little strips of elastic on the back. So that's why they're a little bit thinner. That's why they feel a little bit rougher against the skin. I can assure you if you are wearing something that is smocked with all the little elastic bands in the back, uh, you will be chafed by the end of the day. So this was a good pick, probably in the $30 range for this. I like this color, this kind of pretty like warm orange and the flowers are uh, like blue and yellow. So super cute, definitely one that I would grab. Doesn't have the size tag in here. I wanna say that this is about a size large. So that's always good to find as well. Next up, and this was another one of the gut pickups. I think this is number three. And this, I mean, this had all of the things that I look for. So it's kind of an unusual silhouette. It's linen, it's fully lined, and it's kind of midi length. And then look at the hem on that guy. It's a beautifully finished hemline. Uh, it is a raw hem, but it is finished. So it's never gonna really like go all the way up. So this is from a brand called the Shanty Corporation. See that there? They are a high-end Australian company that is sold in boutiques. I wouldn't, this is not a boutique brand. This is not something that you can go to like downtown LA and buy packets of. If you ever want me to go into like the definition of what I call a boutique brand, let me know. I can do a whole video on that. This is sold in boutiques not a boutique brand. This is sold in like really high-end boutiques that have very selected uh, brands that they pull in. It's primarily like a swimwear and swim like beach like resort wear collection. So this retailed for over $200 I believe on the resale market probably somewhere in the $50 mark. It does have a little bit of like dust dirt here from the bins because this was like very crumpled up and on the bottom of the bins which I will work on getting out the door but this is a perfect, perfect, perfect example of all of the check marks that I look for for a quality item. It's really beautifully made and you can tell that this linen is very nice. So great little find there and definitely a new brand to keep our eyes out for. Next up, this is a brand I know of, but I don't think I've ever seen it while thrifting. I've never picked it up. I've never had it, but I don't know. This is kind of a gut pickup but it's this cute little silk dress. It's like a little kind of deep red burgundy silk slip dress. And the designer on this is 12th Street by Cynthia Vincent. So again, I had heard the name, I had never really sold anything, so I wasn't familiar with how much it sold for. For all I know, it, like, it could have been like a department store brand, whatever. But uh, it had a couple things going for it that I thought was high end, so I did grab it. Number one, it had smocking around the bust, which is really nice. Second of all, it had a color that's very like on trend right now. But the thing that really kind of did it for me, look at how that tag is attached. That just speaks like the fact that it's not back here where it's gonna show, it kind of lays flat against the body. It's like right under the arm. It just kind of tells me that it's a, it, this is a higher end piece. And turns out it is it's very high end. In fact, this is something that they sell at like Neiman Marcus and Saks Fifth Avenue. And this is in beautiful shape. I don't think it had a size. It's a size small. So probably $35 or so on this. I think that this will fly out because this is something that somebody will pick up either to wear as like sleepwear or somebody will wear this like under a jacket as streetwear, especially with this color, which is super hot right now still. Really, really pretty. And this silk is stunning. Really, really gorgeous. Next up, this is another one of the gut pickups. This was a cute little like cropped hoodie in this kind of like mist, like fog color. It's like light blue gray, but this had all of the things going for it that a really high quality sweatshirt would have. So it's first of all, 100% cotton. You can feel it immediately. The hood is fully lined. That's something to look for, for sure. That's an expensive thing to put in. And you're really not gonna see that on cheaper brands. Like you will never see that on like a Forever 21 cropped hoodie. It has uh, like higher quality ropes here. And then it is a French Terry. Again, a French Terry has that kind of like looped back versus a fleeced back. That's more fleece. And the brand on this is Starlow. 
So I had no idea what that brand was, so I grabbed it. It's a gut pick. When I got it home, sure enough, Starlo is a small brand, but it is a very expensive brand. I want to say that this retailed around $100, and I'm seeing resale prices in and about the $30 to like $50 range on Starlo. I didn't find, I don't think I found any specifically of this cropped sweatshirt, but now is the time to sell something like this. But definitely a good pickup and definitely a brand to be on the lookout for because this is real nice. You know what this kind of feels like? If you've ever felt a Cotton Citizen piece, this feels very, very similar to that. So, you know, Cotton Citizen is exceptional quality. So great little find and a new bolo brand. Next up, now this is a classic bread and butter thing that I would pick up. This is a Lucky Brand shirt. Um, and I don't pick up a ton of Lucky Brand, but these kind of boho shirts do sell quite well for me, specifically these little like lightweight boho shirts. This has a nice like peasant sleeve. These are all stitched bands around the arm. It's a size small petite in a black with like a floral motif. It's in fantastic shape. This will be something between $20 and $25, and this will probably move quite quickly. Now is the time for stuff like this, but perfect bread and butter. Now, next up, this is a brand I've only found one other thing of, and it was a very, like, specific thing, like it was a printed Capri. I know of the brand. I know a lot of people that swear by this brand. I've never had it before. So chime in and let, let me know. Have you sold these before? Do you own them? Do you love them? This is a pair of pants from Beta Brand. And from what I am told, they are basically supposed to be like the most comfortable work pants ever. Like their whole shtick is that they make work pants, you know, so they have like the trouser styling, see the welted pockets back here, but they feel like yoga pants. So these are a size small petite, they are straight leg, they are in pretty great condition. I'm not quite sure, I, the, comp, the sold comps are all over the place on these. So let me know in the comments below, you know, again, do you own them? Do you love them? Have you sold them before? Let me know how you did. This is kind of sort of a gut one, but I'm not going to put it in that category. It's just gut for me. I know that there's a lot out there. I'm just very confused by the sold comps that I'm seeing. Next up here, now this is a pair that I just grabbed. These are Lululemon leggings. They're in a, like a little bit rough shape. These are the the classic like Luan leggings. They're the kind of mid-rise. They've got like a banded textured waistband. I know that there are people that still really seek out this silhouette. I don't think I'm going to get much more than like 25 or 30 and I need to do a little deep pilling on this and of course you know give it a give it a wash and do a deep pill but you know even the older styles of Lululemon and like if Lululemon is something you want to get into I would recommend learning the styles, learning the names, but like don't turn away from the older styles because there are people that actively seek out the things that they don't make anymore and the only place they can get them is on the secondhand market. For example, I found a couple of shirts from them that are like long sleeve shirts and one had like a pretty wide scoop neckline which you just you don't see anymore and I don't think they've really made it since like maybe the mid two thousand mid teens, mid tens, like twenty fifteen. And those sell higher than even more modern shirts sometimes because there are just so few of them out there and there are people that really look for them. So I would not go and say, you know, pay $12, $15 for a pair of pants like that. But if you're able, if you find them in the bins or if you find them on a dollar day or you find them for a dollar, two dollar, like grab them because you will still sell them, you know, just not for as much as you would one of the newer pieces or, um, you know, something that's really in like high demand. Next up, now this is a gorgeous piece. I don't pick up a whole lot of Calvin Klein and I, I don't know why I don't because anything I've ever had by Calvin Klein and a lot of the things were like mine from my own closet has sold really well and pretty quick. And I do see a lot of it in the bins. Maybe I'll start to pick up a little bit more, but I found this cute dress. Look at this, it's so unusual. So this is, I don't even know what this fabric is. It feels a little bit silky, but it's got like a little peekaboo on the shoulder. Do you see that? So it's a little bit of a cap sleeve. It's a button front here, but it's got this most unusual shape to the skirt. So it's almost got like godets here on the side, fully lined. I just thought this was so pretty. Something that will look beautiful on the mannequin and something that I think will sell really quickly right now. Again, I'm interested to see how this is. If this sells really quick, 
I think I'm gonna put this on my like, let's consider it a little bit more list, but definitely a cute one. And I think I'll see probably 35 to $40 on this. Isn't that adorable? I think this is about a size 10 too. So that always helps. Yeah, the size tag's been cut out, so I'll just have to go by measurements on that, but I love this little dress. I just think this is so cute, and honestly, if this fits me, I might keep it for myself for a month or two. Very, very cute. Next up, now this is one, I only found the bikini bottom here, but this is a brand I do know. This is not a gut pick, but I want to make sure that you all know what Frankie's bikinis look like. This is a very expensive bathing suit brand, even just the bottoms, especially because these are kind of like a neutral, they're like a snake print, so they'll go well with a hot pink top or they'll go well with like a black top. Um, this will still probably sell for like $25 to $30. If I had the full set easily in the $60 to $70 range, these go for like $100 a piece. So in great shape, they resell really, really well and they're in very high demand. So definitely take note of that logo, keep an eye out for it while you are shopping. It's a great little find. Definitely a bolo brand. Next up here, I did get this chunky sweater. Yes, it is April. Sorry, <laughs> not sorry. This is from Lovers and Friends. Now I think this is the older tag, but it doesn't really matter. I've sold lots of things with that tag for, you know, a great price. This is just like a little chunky basic sweater with a cowl neck, really well made, in perfect condition, size large. This is just an easy, easy, easy sell. I'll see probably, again, it is the older tag, so if this was a newer tag, I'd probably see more in the $40 to $50 range. I'll probably see in the $30 to $40 range for this. Just a great little closet staple. Definitely something I would use, closet staple as a, as a tag. I would use a capsule wardrobe. It's a perfect example of something that somebody would have in a capsule wardrobe, so great little find. Next up, oh, these were a pair of Carve Designs shorts. And Carve is in that kind of surfwear brand world. There, You'll see these sold at like surf shops or the kind of stores, like a, I, don't, I don't know if they're sold at REI, but in those kinds of stores, like in kind of like outdoor stores, you'll see a lot of Carve Design stuff. They make hiking pants and stuff like that, but people who love Carve Designs really love carved designs and these are just a pretty peach corduroy cut off short in like perfect condition size four again like this is factory wrinkle and this is not wrinkle from the way somebody wore it like this is from the factory so i would be surprised if these were ever worn like ever so great little find I'll probably see 25 to 35 on these they do retail on the higher end i want to say that these are probably like 74 five to eighty dollars so definitely a brand to be on the lookout for i'm interested to see how many people have found this wherever you are like i don't know if you know i've i've always seen this you know i used to live in utah which has a ton of outdoors enthusiasts and this was kind of a bigger brand there of course i live in california now where you know the ocean is five miles that way so you see it here, but let me know if you are in the middle of the country somewhere. Let me know if you have ever seen carved designs. Let us let us know in the comments below. Next up, now this is a great little Free People Beach piece. I always love finding these little t-shirty kind of pieces. Uh, they do sell really well for me. This is kind of a warm, like a chocolate, ooh, chocolatey brown. I'm just seeing a flaw in this here. You can kind of see a little bit of like lightning there around the neck. I might just donate it, but this is a cute little Free People Beach top. Tie back, very, very cute. A uh, little cuff sleeve. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a closer look to see if that is a flaw or if that is part of the dye scheme of the whole thing, but this is 100% something that I would probably get 25 to $35 on. Free People Beach t-shirt type stuff always goes really quickly for me, and I feel like this is is this like a linen blend? No, it's 100% cotton. Very, very cute. It has kind of a cult following, so always keep your eyes out for that tag. Next up, now this one is completely unbranded, but there was absolutely not a chance that I was walking away without it. And I have a feeling, because this is really well made, I have a feeling that this is not one of the no-name kimonos 
that you know you'll see at like little boutique stores this is too well made and too like designed to be no name and I have a feeling that once I get this like on the mannequin or on hanger and photographed that Google images will tell me what this is but anyway this is a gorgeous little kimono and so it's got kind of like a split top there the sleeves are yellow but they're this really interesting like shape you see how it's kind of got a point there like look at the detail this is I mean this is the detail under the arm. Instead of having the sleeves kind of come together, like they're finished and split. It's just like the little details. This is something that probably was quite expensive. So I don't know. I'm going to hold judgment on this until I see a little bit more, but I would say minimum on this minimum on this I'll probably see 25 to 35 dollars if I can figure out that this is I don't know Johnny was or something like that. I don't think it's Johnny was. They usually do that beautiful cupro but if it's a higher-end brand maybe up to 50 or 60 bucks but even unbranded this will pull in just because of the design details because of the quality because of the colors and patterns this will pull in 25 to 35 dollars without batting an eye and it will go quick so you can call this a gut pick and if I if I do find out before this video is posted what brand this is I will put it on the screen below but I'm excited about this one. I love that piece. Next up, this is a pair of cute linen pants from Joie. These I believe are like brand new uh, without tags. They still have the little tie string on it. Great shape, light blue. And they're, they're not quite joggers. They're kind of like tapered leg, but they have like a built-in cuff there at the bottom. Again, I'm pretty sure that these are brand new. They're a size small. I think these will go no question, especially right now. It is it is linen season. Joie, despite the fact that it has slowed down in resale values, it's still a very expensive brand. These were still probably $250, $300 pants. So they'll still probably go, especially with their, you know, with the fact that they're linen and the fact that they're like a perfect basic, they'll still probably go at least 35 bucks. Very, very cute. I so rarely find Joie pants. This might be the first, no, second pair that I've ever found, but I find their tops so much more commonly than I find their pants. Now next up, this one is so cute. I do feel like this is a little bit more of a fall and winter piece. This is a cute little Zara dress. It's got like peasant sleeves, but it's this kind of gray with this clip dot design all over it. And this feels like a suiting gray, if that makes sense to you. Like this feels like you know, you use suit material for this. It's got a little tie neck with a split neck there, the peasant sleeves, it's on pier waist, and it's got a tiered skirt. I love that this plays a little bit in the menswear meets uh, feminine world. I love that kind of juxtaposition. That's very like Tom Brown. If you know who Tom Brown is, like, let me know. He's one of my faves. But I, you know, I'll probably see 25 to $35 on this. I might not sell this until fall, but I don't care. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. It's definitely different. I feel like I've never seen anything like that from Zara. So next up is a cute little piece from Velvet Graham and Spencer. This is as light as a feather. I This feels like cotton lawn, but it isn't cotton lawn. It's got a little bit too much of a drape. I think it's probably like a Lysel or a rayon or whatever. But it's this beautiful like eggplant purple semi sheer. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see the windows through that. <laughs> there is a little bit of backlighting on the camera. And this is a size large. Yeah, that's a size large in beautiful condition, kind of like a Henley type neck. This needs to be cleaned and steamed and it will look absolutely stunning. Velvet by Graham and Spencer is a very expensive brand. I want to say that they were sold in anthropology and also, I feel like I've seen them at Saks. They're, you know, they're, they're up there in price. This was probably over $100, but I'll probably see in the $30 range for this. Very, very cute. Again, something that can be worn like to brunch. It can also be worn to the office. So always love a twofer. And that color is super beautiful. That's one of those colors that's going to be very flattering on pretty much everybody. So next up here, this is a great basic from Paige Denim. I don't pick up everything I see from Paige. I generally will only pick up the kind of newer tag. That's what the newer tag looks like. 
This is a, just a great little basic knit midi dress. It's got slits, I think on both sides. Yep, slits on both sides. It's like a nice cotton slub. This might even be a little bit linen. It's a size extra small, but it's such a great little basic. This will go in no time. Very, very cute, super soft, great little basic. I'll probably get like 30 to 40 on this. Paige is a very expensive brand. This probably ran. 150 to 200 dollars new so you know it, it's not going to sell for what it used to men's page jeans tend to do better for me than women's page jeans but stuff like this will go just based on the fact that it's a great basic this is a perfect example of a black item that i would not pick up to like if, if it was unbranded to sell by style just because it is so simple and classic unless the materialization was really really high end this is a perfect example of something that will sell because it is a great classic, it's well made, and it has a recognizable brand. But if you take away that recognizable brand, maybe not. Next up here, we've actually got two Lululemon pants here. These are Align Crops in this kind of like dusty purple. And I gotta say, like, I have sold so many pants in this kind of dusty purple color, mostly from Athleta, uh, but these are Crops. They're in great condition. They, you know, of course I'll give them a bath. I'll give them a little bit of a lint roll, but you know, a line leggings always go well, probably $25, $35 on that. And this is another pair. I don't have a little bit more seaming than the Align crop length. Actually, this is kind of like that mid, that mid calf length that they do from time to time. I want to say that they call this like the 23 inch or whatever, you know, again, 25 35 bucks on that as well and i found these both right next to each other in a tangle of other leggings so you know i know it can be arduous to look through a pile of like 35 pairs of leggings but you know you just never know when you're gonna see that logo okay here's another gut pickup here so this is i mean basic of all basics you know this little like cream camisole it's cotton it's got like a raw hem, but something about this just told me it was high end. The quality of the cotton felt exceptional. The finishing felt really nice. Like, let me get you in close on this, on this trim. Do you see that? So it's like, it's, it's like a bound trim here, but then it's like cut on the top and it's in multiple layers. Like these are the kind of things that cost a ton of money to do in manufacturing that told me that this, you know, something about this told me it was really nice. I saw the tag and I could barely even like read it there because the lighting's not super great in our bins. But when I got it home, the brand is Brochu Walker. I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right, but let me see if I can get that so you can read it. Very, very, very high-end brand. It's a size large. This retailed, I think, in like the $200 range. That's the level of high end this is. So definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Has anybody else found a brochu walker piece out there? I know I'll be looking for it, but man, this was probably one of like the bigger surprises of my day. Like, <laughs> like you know, I grabbed it, I'm like, ooh, that feels real nice. And I threw it into my cart and I got it home, you know, I was like looking at all the details here, I threw it into my cart, I got it home, and my eyes popped out of my head when I saw the price for it. So uh, look at that, look at the finishing, look at the seaming on the back. Look how that's taped. Quality, quality finishing. That right there, quality finishing. Gorgeous, gorgeous little find. And I'm excited to be keeping my eyes out for that because I've literally never heard that brand or designer in my life and all of their stuff looks top notch. Let's go from absolute clean girl aesthetic, neutral, old money, classy, 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 to uh, coquette, Lolita, novelty print, all the things. So this is from a brand called Red Queens. Never heard of it before in my life, but this again, this goes in that whole like, it doesn't necessarily matter what the brand is if the print is novelty and it's a good size. I wanna say this is a large. This is a large, large and up is generally what you're looking for, but size small will also sell. Zip up the side here so you get the full effect. So this is like black and pink. There's stars in the black stripes. And then when you get to the bottom, there's like My Little Ponies. This is 100% something that will sell very quick. This style here is very much so in the core aesthetics 
they're calling this coquette. But in reality, the origins of this is like the Japanese Lolita look. And the Japanese Lolita look is very much this like frilly, almost like French maid kind of look to it. Coquette's a little bit more pared down, a little bit more like feminine and romantic, whereas Lolita's a little bit like over the top. So this will sell in no time. Is there a crinoline here? Oh, there's like a little bit of crinoline underneath too to give it a little bit of body. It is something that will sell. There's a ton of people out there that really love My Little Ponies. There's even an entire subsect of men that call themselves bronies and they're really into it. Um, feel free to Google that at your own leisure, but this will move no question and this will move probably pretty quick. And I would not be surprised if I see 40 to $50 on this because this was probably a good $125 dress. Like there's a lot of details on here that tell me that this was not like a cheap thing that somebody like got on Amazon. Like there's little like loop trim here. The smocking's pretty nice. The lace goes all the way around. The lace also has detail on it. So this was probably a pretty expensive dress when it was new. So definitely when you find something like this, use Coquette, use Lolita. That's the kind of stuff that will lead people to this, lead the people who are looking for clothing like this to this item. Here's another shirt that I found, super, super cute. This is a standard James Purse top. I mean, horribly wrinkled. Cute little like sage green button front. It's got these like cotton ribbed side panels that are just like, oh my God. And James Purse's like cotton knit is so distinct when you feel it. It just feels like ultra fine and I don't know how to describe that but if any of you have a piece like in your closet just like feel it and feel it next to like another piece of cotton knit and just see if you can tell the difference it's just so 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 nice but this cute little pocket front it does say it's a size 4 which tells me it's an extra large which tells me this might have shrunk a little bit um, I'll have to do a wash and get some measurements on it. Uh, it's very cute. I mean, like an extra large would be something that would fit me and I do not think that this could fit me. So we will find out. But even so, like even if this is something that's like a size four but would fit like a medium, somebody will, you know, somebody will buy this because it is quite nice. Very, very cute. I, maybe, like I said, with the concerns about the shrinkage, maybe 25 bucks. Very cute. I love, I, I'm like, I love this color. Of course I love this color. <laughs> Next up, we've got a great pair of linen pants from Athleta. I love finding linen pants from Athleta. These are kind of like a gray blue color. They have a cuffed hem. They're kind of tapered legs, but uh, definitely a relaxed leg. They have the Athleta elasticized band here. I love the back. They have this little bit of like suiting detail with these welted pockets. Really lovely. They're size six and they're in like perfect condition. I think that these are probably unworn. I think that these are maybe, maybe worn once. Maybe. I would be surprised if they were worn more than once. They're just lovely. You know, it's funny, like you'll find a lot of linen out there that is in like new condition because there's a lot of people who like, they're not comfortable with the rumple, right? Like to be a linen wearer, you have to like really embrace the rumple nature of worn linen. I live for it. Like it just, you know, for me, it just feels so breezy and cozy and casual um, while still looking pulled together. But there's a lot of people like I, I remember even me before I got into linen, when I would be like walking through a store and I saw something that was linen and I was considering it, I would do like the, I would do the hand test. And I don't remember who taught me this, but like if you walk up to linen and you kind of crinkle it and you hold it for five seconds, and then you release it and you see, you know, the wrinkles there, I would just walk away because, you know, it, like you can't beat the rumple is what I'm saying. Like you cannot wear linen and expect it to be like crisp and cool and like flat the whole day. Like the whole point of linen is that you get that beautiful, like lived in rumple. Oh, I just love it. Next up, another little piece that is super cute and it is the novelty print. This is from, oh, I forget what they actually, I, th I think it's like Postal Code or something like this. this is an anthropology brand. And it's got this cute little bicycle print. It's cotton. It's got this kind of vintage style crossover top. This is something, ooh. 
Oh, I missed this. It's got a little hole in the side. I don't think I can fix this, but well, dang. Perfect example of something that, you know, keep your eyes out for. This is definitely several years old. I want to say that this is probably 2010 era, but there are still a ton of people that love this style and they seek out these pieces and they're getting harder and harder to find. You can get them at like mod cloth, but the stuff that you got at Anthropology was just a different like just a different level of construction like they generally use nicer fabrics you know so you can get that like higher end kind of feel from the vintage 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 we're calling 2010 vintage from the older anthropology pieces that you can't necessarily get from a mod cloth so very cute i don't know if this is leaving my house um this is 100 percent silk this is from a brand called Yellow Lotus Santa Monica, 100% a gut pickup. And I don't know if you can see what this is, but this is basically a robe. It is like floor length. It is silk. It's got these like raw ruffles all the way down the front. Can you see that? I don't know if that's showing up there. So it's got that ruffle all the way down to the bottom. It's got a raw edge. It's double layer. Is this double layer silk? double layer silk so it's silk fully lined in silk absolutely stunning i think is it um hope scope hope scope there's another youtuber out there named hope scope she refers to these as her dead husband robe isn't this a moment i don't know what else to call this other than an absolute event <laughs> this thing is an event and i don't know if it's an evening gown or if it is meant to be a robe there are no there are no belt loops, so it's not meant to be like tied around. This is meant to be worn open. And this is in like fabulous condition. I don't know how old this is. This could very well be vintage. This could very well be like five months old, but I am obsessed. I will for sure be putting this on the mannequin. And guys, I don't think that this will last long. This again, what an epic piece to find. I When I did the research onto Yellow Lotus, it does look like it's a higher end boutique in Santa Monica. And this probably was in the $300, $400 range. So I'm not quite sure what I'll get on this. Oh, I wish this was my size. But it is just lovely. Maybe somewhere 50 to 100 bucks. We'll find out. I'll try to report back on this because this piece is awesome. Next up, now this is a cute little piece from Splendid. Again, I leave most of the Splendid pieces behind. But this I thought was really cute. This is a linen blend little like denim style jacket. You know, this is this is summer weight. It's it's white. It's crisp. This is clearly something that is like made to be worn at the beach. This does not appear to have been worn much at all. Very, very cute. This is a perfect example of something that I would pick up from from Splendid. Something brand new for sure, but something like this all day. And this is very classic. This is something that won't ever be out of style. It's just like a classic little like super lightweight, like summer weight jacket. Next up here. Now this is one I have not been finding much soft surroundings. And like I've honestly been slowing down on picking up soft surroundings unless I'm finding it in larger sizes. And I just haven't been finding too much of it because everything else I have that's like below a size large has been sitting. And this, I mean, this I couldn't turn down. This is a linen, beautiful turquoise, kind of popover blouse. I love this color. It's kind of like a heavier weight linen. This is a beautiful shape. It's a size, is it extra large? Size large, and it's got cute little buttons up the back. This will fly out of my closet. I think I'll see probably 35 to $40 on this because it is linen and it is in fabulous shape. I love these sleeves. These kind of sleeves are super flattering. But yeah, great, great find. I, I was excited to find this. I just haven't found much in that soft surroundings that I was confident that would move quick for me uh, recently. So very excited to find this and I love this color. Everybody loves this color. This is so summer. This makes like if you're pale, it gives your skin life. If you're tan, it makes you look tanner. This is like one of those magic colors. Next up, now this is another gut pick and this was one that was kind of a loss, right? So I grabbed this. These felt really nice. They're kind of straight leg jeans. They're gray, they have a raw hem. The brand on them was Vervet. I'd never heard of it before. It's got a little bit of stretch. They felt like basically brand new condition. 
Turns out that Vervet is a brand, it's like a boutique brand. So this was sold at like Vici, V-I-C-I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but yeah, so it's not something that's gonna resell for all that much. It looks like other Vervet jeans are in like the $15 range. So for sure, not a Bolo brand. But you know, I'll probably see, again, like 15 to 20 bucks, maybe Vervet Blue. I don't know if you can kind of see that logo there. It's like white on white, but you know, you win some, you lose some. I've had some really great finds today and this was really, I think like the only kind of wah wah <laughs> of, of all of them. But you know, again, I should be able to move them just based on style. I, you know, I'm just not gonna be making a ton of money on them. And it's something that like, again, if you are not sourcing for a dollar or $2, I would not pick these up at all. So next up, this is just a cute little free people movement crop top these are the kind of things that i will always pick up i'm not going to pick these up at like a regular thrift store but something you know for a dollar i will turn this into 15 dollars or 20 bucks usually very very quickly they don't you know they don't take a lot of storage space i like this kind of steel blue color it's a size medium large which is always good and if you look at the back here i don't know if you can kind of see that let me see if i can hold it up against the door so the back is all like net like the texture is the same all the way around. The front is like lined, but then the back, I don't know if you can see, there you go. So the back has a lot of ventilation. This is kind of, I like this silhouette. Like I just, I like the silhouette, the high neck, a little bit more support. This will go in no time. These kind of things sell so quick for me. Next up here, now this is an Urban Outfitters piece. And I, again, I don't pick up a ton of Urban Outfitters, only when I know like the style is something that I think will move quick. And this feels so right now. This is a jumpsuit. It's a cute little sunflower print. This, I mean, this takes me right back to like 1995. If you know, you know, like the heyday of sunflowers perfume. Does, do you all remember sunflowers perfume? I still think that's one of the best smells in the whole world. And that just like, if and when I do, do they still make it? Do they still make sunflower perfume? Let me know, let me know if you know. But if I do smell that, Number one, it reminds me of my old art teacher who was the coolest lady on the whole planet. I feel like I've mentioned her before. I won't say her name for privacy sake, but uh, she just, she loved sunflowers. She had a really like emotional connection to sunflowers. So anytime I see them, they just remind me of her. This has sold comps that are quite high, like in the 50 to $60 range. Um, I, you know, I'm, I bank on like 30, but wide leg, jumpsuit, super cute, and a tie back. It's a great piece and then it's a size extra large which i love to find love to find it and if you play your cards right it looks like you can actually place this tie like over a bra very cute very cute find and this is something because of all of the style notes like i probably would have picked this up in good condition in pretty much every any brand because that just based on like the wide leg the crinkle, the sunflowers, all of that, that will sell just on style alone. And finally, guys, this is our last piece and we're ending it with something we do know. This is We The Free. I love finding We The Free pieces, especially like this. This is a size medium, very oversized as is usual. In this beautiful, like dusty kind of pink purple color. This is waffle knit, 100% cotton. Look at the detail here on the on the elbows, isn't that cute? The finishing is always top notch from Free People. This has sold comps that are actually pretty high as well. I wanna say that these sold comps go in like the $40 range. Definitely a great find. Always happy to find We The Free pieces of all the Free People brands. We The Free just sells so quick for me. But that is it guys, that is the haul for today. I feel like this was such a wild ride. Uh, what did you think? Did you like this whole kind of like mystery comp situation? Um, I think we found some great new Bolo brands. I think we also learned a couple brands that we're gonna avoid, which to be totally honest is just as valuable. But I know I certainly had fun doing it. It was such kind of a thrill when I got home and I was checking them into inventory. I couldn't wait to comp, you know, it's such, it's like such a thing that I do naturally while I'm outsourcing uh, that it was exciting to do once I got home to see kind of how I did. And I think I did okay. 
But for all of you numbers nerds out there, I had 47 pieces here with a total retail value around about $5,500, which is just incredible. I invested $47 in this and I should have sales between $1,200 and $1,300 on all of this, give or take a little bit. And that brings my profit to between $1,000 and $1,100. With a $47 investment, that brings my return on investment to 23.4x, which is just incredible. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I do these hauls. I always have so much fun. I always love adding a little extra layer. If any of you guys have any other ideas of how I can make a game out of my thrifting, how we can learn new things together, let me know. I'm happy to put my credit card on the line so we can learn some things together and then, you know, just have a little fun while we're doing it. Guys, thank you so much for hanging with me while I do my haul. You know I have so much fun doing it. I, I know that there's a lot of people out there on YouTube that are doing these kind of things and it's really like a huge honor that you choose to spend any of your time with me like this it, it means so much guys if you had fun today don't forget to hit like and subscribe down below it really helps me out with YouTube and I so appreciate it but without further ado guys I know this was a long one have the most incredible week happy hunting go find those treasures and I will see you in the next one